Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the map feature in Excel. So on the screen, I've got an example of some data, I've got country, county, and then a, a figure. And then the map displayed by Microsoft Bing is showing you that data area. Now, if I delete this map and do this again for you, get rid of that. So basically, highlight the area, go to the Insert tab, and the Maps feature is in with the Charts area, or in the Charts group, and then you can just click on that, find a map, and then it does drop on the screen, un unformatted. Now, if you click on the Chart area and then um, type in the title, or whatever you want to call it, so this is picnic areas that's one thing you can do and then the rest of this is about formatting this now you do need the internet for this to work because if you don't obviously can't access Microsoft Bing you can't get these maps so that's what the key is it will sit there without the internet but you need it you need the internet to get it first off now if you want to format this normally this format chart area wouldn't be on the screen you basically just double click on it and it comes up with a relevant bit so you've got the fill and border and then what you need to be clicking on is the areas that you want to select so i've clicked on this shaded area which is north yorkshire and i want to format this slightly different to what it's showing at the moment so on this area format data series You've got these three little bars, like a little bar chart. You've got these three sets and then a different option at the bottom there for colours, which I'll change in a second. So these are just different layouts. If you click on each one of these, you can decide which one you find more appealing or more relevant. I'm going to leave this one on automatic. Now map area, you've got only regions with data, which is that one state and province which is that one and then you get everything shaded slightly and country and region and then multiple countries which we haven't got because it's all one country it's just going to show us Europe I don't want that so I'll put that back on automatic for now and then labels best fit only you know, so it's going to be quite hard to see the labels in that sort of scale. Now, colour scheme, let's go for three. And then you've got the scales there. So if I change the area to only regions with data, you've got lowest level, which is, let's change this to the lowest level can be red. And the mid can be amber. And then the top level can either be blue or green for green just to keep it in a traffic light sort of sequence and those are the colors that you've got there so there is the map colored up for you and if you go back into format this and want to change anything you can do so what I'll do is I'll just change it Put it to automatic, see what that does. It looks slightly better actually because it stands out a bit more. And um, I'll leave that one off there. Let's go for this. Let's go for state and province, see what that one does. That's got all that on already. Country, region. Yeah, I like that as well. And then if I go for Europe, it's quite hard to see, but sure you can make the thing bigger so it stands out a little better um, so we'll go for automatic and it'll just bring it back in like that now I've made the graph bigger you can see the labels none best fit show all so you can't actually see that one unless I make this a lot bigger than what it is already it's not going to have it West Yorkshire. I don't know why it starts with an L. 
Okay, but that's um, a quick look at how to do maps or use the maps feature in Microsoft Excel. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.